Welcome to the Entrepreneur's MBA, bringing you lessons from real-life entrepreneurs they don't teach in business school. Here's your host, business coach and marketing strategist, Adam Kipnis. Hey, everyone. It's Adam Kipnis, host of the Entrepreneur's MBA podcast. Uh, Thanks for tuning in today. Today, I wanted to talk about the power of coaching from a real-life example of me. So I work with a lot of people over my career, and I help them in their business. I uh, give them ideas. I give them tips, secrets, and tools that they can use in order to be more successful. And I have the opportunity to have that done to me. I've always had coaches, and I've and that's how I got into it myself. But it was a different experience this time. And, and here's why. Maybe some of you have the same situation or uh, are in the same place that that I am. Is I've got this podcast. I've got a couple books. I have my online coaching program. I've got my one-on-one coaching. Uh, I do some speaking and we'll be doing more of it. Uh, I've been on a number of other people's podcasts, a couple of radio shows. I've got one later today that I will be on. So I've got all of these great tools that I have to use to tell my story, to help my clients, and to bring prospects into my personal funnel or my personal sphere. But none of them were aligned. My book was doing one thing, my podcast was doing another, my coaching is doing another. They weren't fully aligned, so they didn't have the same branding, they didn't have the same messaging, they didn't have the same targeting. And so while I was having success, they weren't building on each other. And what my coach, James Balanchek, he's a great, um, brilliant marketing mind and a great person um, and one of the best speaker coaches in the business, when he looked at it, he said, these can all live in their own worlds. And they have been, and they've been successful. But if we bring them into the same world, and the book, and the podcast, and the speaking, and my presentation, and my webinar, and my coaching all have the same branding, the same name, the same model, how much more exponential can it be? How much more scalable can it be? How much more easily understood and easy to digest for my potential prospect will it be? And all of those things coming together, uh, one, are going to give me a fair amount of work to do in the short term, but will allow my business to be more successful. So the reason I wanted to bring it up today is as a coach or as a consultant, and many of you are, or no matter what you do in your career, by talking to somebody who is a third party, who can look at it with a different lens, can really change a lot of how you think about things and what you can bring new to your client base. So I encourage you to, to, um, to think about that in your own business, to look at are all of your products and services aligned? If you're thinking about a new product or a new service to add, how can it be aligned with what you already have? If you're splitting your directions, you're going to get a split and fragmented client base. If you have alignment for them all together, you will bring the right people at the right time to the right place, which is to you, so you can begin to attract clients now. Um, hope that's helpful. Just wanted to say to everyone, you know, thanks for listening. That was an experience of mine that I had that I thought is really beneficial and going to be a lot of fun for me to work on, and hopefully um, it's something that you can work on and you can learn from in your business. Until next time, thanks for being with me on the Entrepreneur's MBA podcast. If you need to begin attracting clients now, please download my book at freebookfromadam.com. It is straightforward, easy to follow, step-by-step what you need right now to bring more clients and more profit into your business. Talk to you all soon. Thanks. You've been listening to the Entrepreneur's MBA. Download Adam's free book, How to Make More Money in Your Business, at www.freebookfromadam.com. 